Oops. Okay, um, I, I worked in the World Trade Center um, from 98 until 9-11 in 2001. Um, my interest in the whole issue of a conspiracy for 9-11 is uh, based on fact that there was a power down in the South Tower on the weekend of the 8th and 9th of September. Um, I worked on it, I was in the tower at the time, so I know for a fact it occurred along with many colleagues. I was on, at home on the day of 9-11, um, witnessing the events from my apartment because of um, the requirement to work on the weekend prior to 9-11. I was sitting in my chair having coffee and um, I heard a noise which uh, sounded to me like um, a very heavy truck hitting a bump in the road and um, like bouncing. So the noise was like bum 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 like that. So I got up and went to the window and looked between the Venetian blinds down to the road and there was nothing. So then I just looked up and in the North Tower I saw smoke coming out from a high floor. At this point I was hanging out of my bedroom window, I'd pulled the window up in the blinds and I was hanging out of the window on the phone and from the corner of my eye to my right I saw the plane coming in, the second plane. It came in from over New Jersey, Staten Island way and it came almost entirely across the Statue of Liberty quite an angle into the tower but and it was coming down as well I saw the South Tower go down just before 10 o'clock 10 a.m. I didn't believe it I didn't believe my eyes it, it looked like a fantasy film uh, what I saw was the building crumbling um, like sand I remember thinking it looked like sand and instinctively I it, the thought went through my head, well, what did we do at the weekend? I didn't believe my eyes, and I didn't understand it either. And, you know, within 20, 25 seconds, where our offices had stood, there was just air and smoke. So we worked on the Saturday morning, shutting everything down, handed over to the Port Authority, and it was handed back to us on the Sunday afternoon. So there was a period of probably 30 hours where there was no power. Right, and it wouldn't have just have, uh, have affected uh, camera security, it would have affected um, all the secure systems on doors um, for either key locks or security badges and so on to undo them. They weren't working because they're all powered by electricity so there was no power, there was no backup system, therefore they were all open. Ah. How does it make you feel looking at those photos? Um, kind of nostalgic, really, because uh, it was fantastic working up there. I mean, you were working, but then you could just turn around and look out the window, and there was always something new going, going on every day. So, um, it was quite uh, an experience. In retrospect, of course, uh, looking back, um, uh, you think about everything that went on. Uh, the, the fact of the power down in itself was unusual. Um, the fact that there were visitors to the tower, many in overalls, um, like engineers of some kind, uh, wandering around the floors, uh, carrying toolboxes and cables and so on. At the time, didn't think, wasn't suspicious of it, didn't think anything of it. I guess my big thing is I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I don't like to be labelled like that. The information that I want acknowledged is factual, plain and simple. Um, so, you know, there's no... I don't have any clarion call for anybody. I just want the uh, truth to be um, acknowledged and explained. When I tried to register the information, 
uh, with the 9-11 Commission thereafter. And when I pursued it with the Port Authority to acknowledge it, and the information was not um, registered by the 9-11 Commission, and it was not acknowledged by the Port Authority and is now denied by the Port Authority that the power down took place. Islamic extremism